Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and today I'm going to show you a really cool product I just picked up from Amazon. It's a $10 USB soldering iron. I don't know if it's any good. Uh, that's why I'm here to take a look at it. Now, I didn't even open the packaging yet other than, you know, whatever it came with. But uh, yeah, I'm about to do this first time, first hand and see how it is. So in its packaging, this is made from China and I'll leave the link down in the description. Like I said, it's a $10 USB soldering iron. I have high doubts on it. Comes in a packaging with no instructions. And, oh, okay, it comes with a little stand. The USB um, to the soldering iron cable. And I think you got a pretty good distance with this, actually. Um, oh, yeah, it's actually got a pretty good distance. It's like, I don't know, five feet at least this is the soldering iron itself doesn't look too bad it's got a cap and supposedly this only takes five uh, 15 seconds to um, charge up and 30 seconds to cool down um, so we'll see how that goes let me see if I can show you guys just that that's how it looks and it comes with some really cheap really thick solder so what we're gonna be experimenting on this today uh, I really wanted to solder this this is the unicorn and you know it's for the Raspberry Pi Zero or the Raspberry Pi but I just wanted to solder the back plate if you could see that so that's what we're gonna be soldering today let's set this up so I could do this real quick got my little soldering station here I'm gonna stick this piece on here in the meantime, while I'm setting this up, what I could be doing is um, charging this guy. So what I'm going to be using is a portable charger. Oh. Plug this to the back, it powers on. Oh wow, it, it's heating up quick, look at this. This was only a couple of seconds. Look at the wattage on that. It takes uh, 1.71 amps. And there was a lot of smoke burnout that was coming off this tip, but it definitely is hot. And the red light that was on there is no longer. And now it stopped kind of doing anything. It's not even discharging anymore. Okay, so I have it plugged up to a USB hub. So there's this little nub right over here. That basically tells it to, I guess, charge because when I touch it the light would come on and then it would charge up the tip for a little bit and then go away so I'm thinking that has to do with activation or something so the first thing is I'm gonna wrap this guy here and like I was saying earlier I was just gonna use some painters tape just to keep it in place as I solder onto it for now just at least the first couple of pins and I don't know if you guys could see, but I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Oh wow, that was quick. Yeah, that's, it worked. This, this is very surprising. This is right off my USB. I'm not used to soldering like this position. It's usually closer to me, but you know, you get the point. It actually works really well. I'm surprised. Um, there's no temperature control, but I did see like more expensive ones where they had temperature controls. Sorry for my messy job. Like I really can't see it. It's in the middle of my desk. If if I if that explains. Usually I, I bring it up close, but but you have to touch that little thing for it to activate because I'm like it's not hot. Why is it not hot? It does charge up really quick, like surprisingly quick. It's actually very impressive how fast it charges up. Now I can remove that. That was burning that. I got a little sponge on the left hand side just to get rid of the crud. Oh, that's a little big ball. The tip's a little fat, um, so it's 
I mean, I like the finer tip, but this works pretty good. Seriously, I, I wish I was at a better spot, or this would have came out a lot nicer. And I'm also trying to do this quickly, so the video won't be 40 minutes long. Um, I'm very impressed. This is a $10 USB soldering iron. Very impressed. Like, I'm just going to go back in. Yeah, if you guys could take a look at this right now before I go back in and clean up everything. Take it off this guy and show you. I mean, it's not the prettiest job because I was at a bad spot, but, and I tried to do this quickly, but you could see it actually, it did all the beads. It, it was fast. Uh, like it heats up in 15 seconds and I think it was even less than that and it cools off really quick makes it makes for a really good backpack kit and I'm, I'm very impressed with this because I did not think it would even work I thought I was gonna either fry it in the first minute of this video Two, it would probably not get hot enough and it would would have took me too long to actually solder everything uh, overall I, I think I'm gonna start using this and throwing this in my backpack just if I need to solder stuff so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I really wanted to show you this. I really thought it was going to break, but I'm very impressed with this. I will leave a link in the description below. Like I said, it was about $10 plus shipping. And it was something that I just wanted to pick up while I was picking up some other stuff. I just saw it on the screen. I was like, I got to get that. So here it is. I say this thing is actually pretty cool. Um, if you do get it, like I said, links down in the description below. If you have any questions about this, hit up in the comments. I didn't find any other tips for this. It just came with that tip. You could probably purchase other tips for this. Uh, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon. If you guys have anything else you want me to test that's like cheap little workman toys and I find it very interesting, hit up in the comments. I want to try those. As I say in my nerd cave, hacktail it hurts.